keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day. And it's Proverbs 16.3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. It's all Him, through us, the body of Christ Jesus, all glory to the Father. So keep waiting and keep watching. 1 Thessalonians 1.10 And to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. And it's ramping up. As you can see right here, ramping up the nukes, Wyoming to house hundreds of new generation intercontinental nuclear missiles. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Acts 2.17 Like Genesis 7.11 When the flood started, the second month and the seventeenth day. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And from my observation, it looks like there's been more two moon rapture dreams than any other dream. And all glory to our Father, a sister emailed me last night and said, Hey brother, just took these from Georgia. Looks like two moons and Venus. And that's exactly what it looks like to me. You can see the moon right there and another moon right to the right of it. And underneath is Venus. And you might think, well, that kind of looks like a cloud or a reflection or something. But she sent me multiple pictures. And before she took this one, she caught this one at sunset. And there's not a cloud in the sky. And she probably took these pictures an hour apart. This is the best two moon picture that I've seen, family. So we'll see if it keeps happening as we approach the full moon on Passover. The full pink moon. The full Passover moon. And we know in the last days we'll have visions and dreams. So it looks like those two moon rapture dreams are coming true. And we know these dreams are real because it is written. Acts 2.17 and we know in the second month on the 17th day, that's when the great flood started. In all glory to our Father, I showed you from and including Friday, November 11th, 2022, to and including Sunday, April 9th, 2023, Resurrection Day. It will be 150 days. And we know November 11th, 1111 was the anniversary of Cheshvan 17, the second month. In the 17th day. And we know the waters prevailed upon the earth 150 days. And we know the fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped. And the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of the 150 days the waters were abated. And we know the ark rested on the 150th day in the 7th month. On the seventeenth day of the month. Upon the mountains of Ararat. And I just showed you. It's 150 days from when the flood started on 11-11 last year. It's 150 days from 11-11 to April 9th, Resurrection Day. The anniversary of when the ark rested upon the mountains of Ararat. And when you search Ararat, meaning in Hebrew, you can see it right here. Ararat equals the curse reversed. So again, we know the ark rested on the mountains of Ararat on the seventh month and the seventeenth day. 717. And we know that's when the waters returned from off the earth continually. And we know Ararat means reverse the curse. And we know the anniversary of 717 when the ark rested is on resurrection day this year. And we all know Jesus Christ is coming back to get us. And I showed you in the last video, the auroras are reaching as far south as New Mexico. 
And it says right here, for about 30 minutes we watched as auroras danced and simmered in the sky above. Yellowstone National Park, says Michael. This was my first time seeing the aurora and hopefully not the last, he says. It was a truly unbelievable sight. And they're popping up everywhere. It says right here, Virginia, Colorado, Missouri, Nebraska, North Carolina. And someone caught this in Clear Lake, an hour north from where I'm at, right here, right now. And they're seeing them in Mount Shasta, Spokane, Washington, all over the place, family. And this picture was captured on a flight from L.A. to Phoenix. And these are popping up everywhere, too. They call Steve, Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement. And they call them ribbons. And it's been prophesized that these auroras would start showing up all over the United States and the earth right before Jesus Christ comes. So we're looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So while we're waiting, enjoy the show, family, because it's beautiful, just like Jesus Christ's timing. It's perfect and beautiful. And this was last night from Montana. And since it's looking like this here, just imagine what it's going to look like in heaven. Just imagine what it's going to look like when you're standing before the Father and the Son at the throne. The point is, we're going home. And I felt led to get this video out right away, today. So I could show you the two moons pictures. And so I could tell you, all glory and praise and honor to our Father, that I have enough to get Christina a headstone. Thank you, family. And praise our Father, I have some extra money to get the supplies and the food and everything I need to put in the backpacks. All glory to our Father. And like Christina used to say, all glory to our Father for our awesome family in Jesus Christ. And like Jesus Christ said, hold fast. Don't let no one take your crown. And most of you know, if we're still here, there's an ultra-rare hybrid solar eclipse coming next month on the 20th. And we'll go over it more if we're still here. Hopefully we're not. Hopefully we're at home in heaven with Jesus Christ and our loved ones that believed in Jesus Christ. But if we're still here, this is what it looks like on April 20th. The sun and the moon, the hybrid solar eclipse right above the well right next to Jupiter in the fish. And I'll finish the video with what's happening right now. The moon is in what they call Taurus the Bull. The planets are lining up. As you can see, Mars is to the left. Venus is to the right. Jupiter and Mercury and the sun in the fish, getting ready to go into conjunction. Jupiter and the sun on Passover to Resurrection Day. The anniversary of the greatest three days ever in history. Right here. Bam. Now I'll take you back to the moon. And as you go through the days, you can see right there on the 28th, Mars and the moon will be in conjunction. And Venus and Uranus will be in conjunction right where the blood moon happened on 11-8. And Mercury and Jupiter will also be in conjunction on the 28th. And since we've been tracking the asteroid Esther, and right now she's at the head of what they call Cetus the Well, as you go through the days, you could see Esther, the Queen, and Queen Cleopatra getting closer and closer together as we approach Passover and Resurrection Day. They're lined up perfectly so we're watching right where Jesus Christ said the signs of his coming would be. In the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And we're tracking the queens. Waiting for the king of kings. And he's coming to get us. Keep your heads up family. I love you.